Well, good afternoon, all my brothers and sisters all across this wide, wide world. I've been seeing some crazy shit that Camel Toe Harris has been talking about. Um, about that shooting, and there's just so much shit that I, she just pisses me off. Um, first off, it ain't the gun that the problem. When I was going to school, we used to have our guns in the cars at school to go hunting after school. And I lived in Michigan, not too far from Detroit, in Dearborn Heights, in Robershaw High School. We went to school to go hunting, deer hunting, rabbit hunting, squirrel hunting. That's what we did. What the fucking problem is, is all the mental illness that's going on in this country. And they're thinking, oh, it's okay. No, it's not. Fantasy is fantasy. You want to pretend like you're a little fucking fur baby running around? That's fine and dandy. But when you let that mental illness out and everybody else has to judge you, and they do, and they will, and then they hurt your feelings because they think you're a fucking retard, whose fault is that? Is it my fault because you think that you're a fucking dragon? No, it's your fucking fault. You need to seek professional help. And because they're made fun of, oh my God, it's they won't let me deal with my fantasy. No. No, I'm not going to let you deal with my fantasy. Mm -mm. Nope, sorry, I'm not playing in your game. There's too much fucking mental illness, and everybody seems to think it's okay. The problem is, people are tired of this shit that's going on. It's went on way too fucking long and way too far. It's got to end. Now, the VP who put tampons in boys' bathrooms because he likes to stick them up his ass, that's a mental case right there. Just saying. And I'm going to catch all kinds of hate over this, but I don't give a shit. The facts are the facts. Your feelings are your feelings, and they have no bearing on what I'm saying. And if it, the facts hurt your feelings and you need to cl climb into a little closet and so you can hug yourself and say, it's okay, it's okay. It's not okay. Man the fuck up. Pick your, put your big boy panties on and act like a fucking man. Yeah, let's just go on a big rant today. Yeah. As you see, I'm very, very upset. I hate to hear about kids getting hurt. And these fucking Democrats that are nothing but human traffickers and pedophiles are saying, oh, these poor kids, you think that Camel Toe Harris and the Democrats give a shit about your kids? Fuck no. Ask him where those kids have disappeared that's come across the border illegally. Where they ended up at. Millions. They won't give you an answer. And these kids... Now, there's some good foster homes. They are. But most of them are run by degenerates, pedophiles, and traffickers. Let's just get that shit straight. And yeah, there's some people that are low-life pieces of shit that should be taken out and publicly turned into fertilizer. I'm sick and tired of hearing these kids that are abused because of their parents and they go and tell somebody and then they get abused by these people and neglected and they ask him for help. Now here's the funny thing about the shooter. 
the FBI checked him out over a year ago. The school knew he was coming in to shoot. The police knew he was, again, the police knew he was coming in to shoot up the place. They didn't close the school, didn't let anybody know. I'm pretty sure if the school said, well, there might be a shooter here today, that place would have been emptied out like fucking the Democratic Party. Yeah. They would have been gone. There would have been nobody there. There wouldn't have been a teacher there. Now, I'm a firm believer. Now, my school, we had armed guards. Our teachers even carried guns. They kept it on the low. But they did. I'm so sick and tired of everybody saying, oh, it's the people with the guns. No. It's fucking mentally ill people. Criminals. Now, you try to make me a criminal, you're not going to like when I become one. For one. For two, you won't like the consequences of your actions trying to retrieve my legally gotten guns. Because criminals, they illegally get guns. That kid wasn't old enough to have a gun. None of them are. Criminals, by nature, are low-life pieces of shit. Mentally ill people are not right in their minds. Now, I don't know the whole scenario of this kid shooting up this, this school. Well, he might have been bullied. Then that kid should have knocked that fucking bully's head in. That's the way we did it. See, these keyboard warriors talk shit for years and never held accountable for their actions. Back when I was a kid, how you uh, unfriended somebody wasn't, I unfriend you, beep, push a button. No, you went over to their house and punched them in their face. That's how you unfriended somebody. And if you got caught talking shit, you ended up in a fist fight. Now, you could either work it out during that fist fight and become best of friends after that. Or you just didn't associate with those fuckers. But I can tell you now who I'm going to vote for. It's not going to be the woman who made her career out of sucking dick underneath the table to win cases in a state that is fucked up. Then she becomes VP because she was a supposed to be a colored woman. But she's not. She's Indian. Not the ooh, kind of red dot kind of Hindu. Hindu, Hindi, whatever you want to call them. She's not black. Oh my God, I said something wrong. Oh, oh, don't care. If you look at my page, I got brothers and sisters from all race, creeds, and colors. I say that all the time. I don't give a shit if you're gay, straight, lesbian, you dress up in a pony suit and whatever. That's fine. That's your play game. You go do it over there in the privacy of your own home. Whatever you do as an adult, do it. What makes you happy? But don't bring it out here in the in public. Because your crazy and my crazy may not get along. Now, if that offends you, I'm sorry, but that's the truth. And you start seeing what they call, what we used to call fetish. Now it's out where everybody can see. You did that in the privacy of your own home. You did that in the privacy of your own groups. 
So that's fine. Do that. Share your shit. We don't care. Don't. The people that are have common sense and use critical thinking, we don't care what you do. You do you, boo. We don't care. When you bring your shit and you put it on our doorstep and say, you have to, that's when we care. We don't have to. Now, it's, it's a damn shame that people can't sit around without saying being called racist, bigots, uh, homophobes, transphobes, this, that, and others. In reality, if people would sit down and talk about their differences... The shit will get solved. But no, you've tried to force shit down. You cut off the whole communication process. I'll give you a perfect example. Say if a trans woman hits me in the face, breaks my nose. It's going to bleed, right? What color is it going to bleed? It's going to bleed red. Now I hit that trans woman in her nose, breaks her nose. She's going to bleed red, right? I don't care if she wears a dress. But in her mind, and I, as you say, I, as you hear me say, in her mind, I'm talking about a real trans woman. Not these, everybody that, you know, puts eyeliner on and got a beard like mine and walks around, talks like me and acts like me. That's not a transgender woman. That's a pedophile or predator. See the difference? Now, same way. Um, if I punch a Democrat in his nose, first thing he's going to do, cry and get in a fetal position and usually probably shit his pants. That's what Democrats do. Uncle Billy did that the other day because he just kept running his dick sucker and I, I had to show him how you shut it up. But that little Democrat bled just like I do. Only problem was he was a bitch and got in a fetal position and cried. And I probably still ain't heard her into that one, but I don't care. The facts were right in my case, and the facts in his case was wrong. Now, if he had a good case and said, well, this is the facts, and proved that the facts were right, I could probably see his point of view. But my facts were true, and he wouldn't even acknowledge the facts. Hint, critical thinking. They don't use that. That's the first sign of mental illness. You can't think. Real men aren't sheep. We don't follow the flock. Then you got some that are sheepdogs, and then you got some that are wolves. And then you got some that are meek. A whole new fucking breed. A wise man once said, lead or get the fuck out the way. Leaders need to start coming forward from every race, creed, and color and make a stand against this evil psychotic shit that's going on in this country. We are being invaded at the southern border and the northern, northern border too, unfortunately. At the 
close estimate, 10 billion, billion people illegally crossed in three years. They've lost count of how many here people here illegally. They don't even have a fucking clue anymore. Now, I'm not saying all illegals are bad. But during that massive invasion, they are illegals here that are bad. Venezuela emptied out all insane asylums, prisons, brought them and dropped them off and sent them here. That's a fact. Joe Biden, Camelto Harris, knows this. That's why you have gangs in Colorado taking over, because that's what they did in their country. Now, how do you stop that? Be armed, train, and be good at what you do. Because the cops, they're not there when you're being robbed. They're not there when they're trying to kill you. You, as an individual, have to defend you, your home, your family, against a threat that's going to either rape, kill, and rob you. That's a fact. Now, we had assholes in our country before of our own people. But these are new animals. These motherfuckers don't have a conscience. They don't give a shit. They come from a shithole country. They come here. They try to turn it into a shithole country by getting the people to turn on each other. It's time you unite and you make a stand. You might get bloody or you may have to spill blood. I'm ready for it. I don't give a shit. Uncle Billy don't run, don't turn, won't won't do shit but finish the fight. So, let Camel Toe Harris and that tampon asshole dude do whatever the fuck they want. I will never surrender my guns. I will never surrender my rights. What are you willing to do? Let me know. But I know this is going to cause me a world of shit. I get watched all the time anyways. I'm expecting visits soon, but I don't care. Much love. This is Uncle Billy. See y'all later.